Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. This time we're playing as Ventus for going to Neverland. I'm sorry, I bumped the mic there. I was uh, scratching my nose and my nose is a little close to the mic. So I accidentally poked the mic if you if you heard that. If you didn't, then I did not do anything. So yeah, let's go to Neverland. Like I said, I actually like Neverland because you actually get to visit the actual land instead of just hooks pirate ship. Move it. Name's Ventus, but everybody just calls me Ven. Huh. Guess when I sat down to rest, I must have fallen asleep. But where'd you come from? Well, you see. Hmm? <laughs> all right, all right, we're going. So long, Ven. Hey. Where are you guys off to? King saw a shooting star, and we're gonna go hunt it down. A shooting star? Mind if I come along? Of course not. But you gotta agree to follow us. Yeah, it's uh, right over. That way, by the Indian camp. Ready, men? Forward, march! Hey! Nothing like a good old looking for a shooting star thing, and if you are familiar with the shooting star that Tinkerbell saw, you would know what that shooting star, or who that shooting star is, and as a matter of fact, Vanitas knows who it is, because, yeah, so Vanitas has done something to Mickey, but we don't know that yet, so we're just going to play ignorant. Yay, ignorance is bliss. Let us kill these unversed, and go do it. Shooting star hunt. No, it's like, like um, I am gonna say treasure hunt, but that's technically not right. You know, I love collision magnets. I don't know if I've shown it off before, but collision magnet is probably one of my. I say this a lot, don't I? I don't think it even lets us go this way. Oh, it's sweet. It does. I say, it's. I say a lot of. It's probably one of my favorites in a lot of these videos. Well, you know, it's kind of true. I mean, it's a pretty good ability. Uh, if you don't get hit. You, you just slam another... When done correctly, you just slam one of the enemies into another enemy. Not really useful in boss battles, obviously, because, you know, it's always like a one-on-one -on -one type basis type thing. Alright, let's see if we can... Okay, we can't get that, but actually, yeah, we can, because the one treasure chest I was missing from Disney, or Disney Town, was Super Glide. That's right, you, you get Super Glide, actually, not in Neverland, or yeah. I mean, you got Super Glide at the last world in Kingdom Hearts 1, but you didn't get it like, in, the, in like a middle world. 
Okay, I don't think there's a Magnus Mark on those big enemies. Uh, point is, we got Super Glide before we got Glide, and uh, spoiler alert, we gonna get Glide in this part, or in this episode, or in Neverland as Ventus. You get Glide. It's not that hard to tell. So yeah, we can move around places so much faster now. I love gliding slash super gliding. Wow, Sonic Blade just completely missed. And this is Tornado Strike is probably is a good move as well. Um, you get that in, in Champion Dominion, I believe. So yeah. Or you can make it too. That's also another thing you could always do, you could always make the E up moves. You don't oh you don't always have to um that's the word I'm looking for. Sorry I'm moving my mic a little bit. You don't have to um find them in treasure chest or get um, them from command boards. You could just make them. Although getting them by command boards is probably one of the fastest way. Fastest, oh my gosh. Probably the quickest way to get some of them. Because there are command boards that have shot locks on them. And yeah, I mean, you could. And then the way that you normally get those is by an accident. I don't want to say an accidental because there are some. When melding commands, there's a low percentage of certain commands changing into other commands and or into shot locks. I don't know why I'm going this way right now because we will. Ooh. Oh, that was my head. That was like part of my head cord for my headphones. I don't know why we're going this way right now. Actually, I don't think it'll even let us come this way. Nope. Cause uh, spoiler alert, we'll be going that way anyway. Let's get. Let's just get rid of you. Side of you. One? Oh, I guess that one would survive a thunder-based attack. Okay, come on. Considering that it's a thunder-based enemy. Yay. seen you before. I'm Ventus. Call me Vent. Well, if you say so. Tension. Now then, ma'am, I don't suppose you'd want to capture some real pirate treasure. Real pirate treasure? Sure. Well, guess who caught sight of Hook right when he was stashing his treasure? What do you say we sneak in and grab it? Oh, boy. Let's go, let's go. Ow. Oh. Tinkerbell? What's gotten into you? We were all supposed to go hunt for a shooting star together. Forget that. Pirate treasure is way more fun. Tink, you're coming with us. Well, that's no way to respond to an invitation. Come on, Ben. You're a better sport than her, right? I'd love to join you, but first I want to find the shooting star. Pan is the worst. He does not let uh, Tinkerbell give the the two Lost Boys. I can't remember their names, unfortunately. He does not let Tinkerbell give the two Lost Boys any fairy dust so they can fight. And what does Peter Pan do? He just flies. He's such a dick. And that's why I don't like him. So yeah, um, if you couldn't guess, technically Ventus' story and Terra's story also kind of happens somewhat around at the same time. I think Ventus is starts out the same, or starts at the beginning, and then Terra kind of happens in the middle. Like his beginning happens in the middle. Oh, the, I was like, we can't enter this place? Come on. Yeah, quickly come in here. There is a save point and a Moogle shop for all three of them, and there's normally two treasure chests here as well. And sometimes they might, there might be a sticker. 
but not for Ventus, unfortunately. Uh, I think we go this way. Yep, we go this way. We're looking for the shooting star. But hold on a second. Oh wait, we get the map. We should probably get that map. But hold on a second. I think someone else was also looking for a shooting star. If we remember correctly, I gotta think for a second there. It's on the tip of my tongue. Mickey's star shard? <laughs> the shooting star and the pixie must be my birthday. Let Tinkerbell go! Ha! Huh, one of Peter Pan's brats. Well, tell that cowardly sparrow if he wants his precious Tinkerbell back, he'd best meet me at Mermaid Lagoon. Stop! Scram! Now, I'm pretty sure at every single world we've been to, we've had to, we've had a mission where we had to take out Unversed. I'm trying to remember, let's see. Uh-huh. Um. I don't, well, like, I'm trying to think here. I don't think Ventus had one in Deep Space. And none of them had one in Disney Castle or Disney Town, whatever. Okay, I'm getting rid of these guys, because these guys can suck a dick when they're in the ground. Um, Radiant Garden, they've had one. All three of them did. Uh, Terra had one in Neverland. It's the first thing he had to do here. Ventus has one in Neverland here. Um, they've all... Oh, no, Aqua didn't have one in... Olympus Coliseum, I don't think. Unless you count uh, her fighting in the tournaments. Then maybe. Um. Let's think here. Uh, nope, not Disney. I know all three of them had, had in Raging Garden. Uh, I know Ventus had in Dwarf Woodlands. He didn't really have one in Castle of Dreams. And he didn't have one at Enchanted Dominion, I don't think. I lost them. wonder what stars are, where light comes from. Tinkerbell's been pixie napped. Then I'm too late. Hook's gonna pay for this. He said to meet him at Mermaid Lagoon. Gotta be an ambush. Huh, that old codfish thinks he's clever. Hey, I'm going too. Well, we have to hurry. Can you keep up? You bet. So yeah, if you remember correctly in Terra's story where Hook and Smee went to go look for the shooting star, and then Hook came back with Tinkerbell, then yeah. So it's very short, but they somehow, it runs together and it somehow works in a way. 
It's a little weird, but it's fine. Like, it works. And it kind of works well. But I would never, because I'm not too talented at editing. Well, I could do it, but at, um, my sometimes my the thing I my editing software kind of wants to poop out on me sometimes when I'm editing. And yeah, I know you say frequently, but then sometimes it says that the files are corrupted, like my my videos corrupted or my vo or my audio is corrupted. But then I close the program and open it back up, and it's fine. So yeah, I'll explain more about that after this cutscene. Yay, we can glide, which is kind of not necessary when you have super glide. <laughs> but I'm going to equip it anyway, because seeing that empty spot in my movement and my action command just really... Actually, I can't equip it, I guess. I guess it makes sense that you can't equip that along with super glide, considering that you need the same buttons. Then what goes here? Hmm. Oh well. So yeah, and that's when Pixie, that's when uh, Peter or Terra frees Tinkerbell, and um, uh, um, what was I was like Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, actually, it's mostly the videos. That's like sometimes when I like cut the videos, uh, it says that the video cannot load properly or something like that. But then once I close out of the my editing software and open it again, it's good. To be fair, I'm not really using that good of an editing software either. I like to upgrade to that. I would like to upgrade to like Adobe Premiere Pro, but that's money and it's a monthly, uh, monthly, monthly, a monthly, monthly subscription type thing, and I don't really like that. I want to get an editing software. I don't want to like keep paying for it monthly. I want to just keep holding on to it. But I guess eventually when I start making a lot more money and such, then I might be able to upgrade to that. To pay for like a monthly fee. And I might be able to get a discount for a year considering that I'm a student. I'm sure, I'm not going to be a student that much longer since I plan to graduate this year. As a matter of fact, I uploaded a video that helps shows that like is a project that helps... Um, Ooh, treasure raid. That's actually pretty. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually a pretty good uh, uh, move. I think only Ventus can get it. It's basically strike raid, but then when it hits an enemy, it drops treasure. Sometimes. Uh, what was? It? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. I actually uploaded a video not long ago that like I used as a senior project to help me uh, get to help me graduate because. In the broadcasting department, you have to have a senior project. And I chose to do a short film type thing, and I did. And, yeah, I think it turned out great, hopefully. <laughs> Not in my opinion, but, yeah. Anyway, up here is where Ventus is. Uh, uh, rare on Verstar. I did not mean to heal. It is kind of hard to 
keep keep them all in line when you don't constantly have like a magnet and or a Thundaga spell. And it'd be so much better if I had a if I had all five of my magic case on. I can't remember how many Ventus has in the first place. I think he might have two or three of them. I can't really quite remember for sure off the top of my head, but I know he has some. But no matter what, how many magnet or not magic, magic ace abilities he has on, Kiraja will always take a long time to fully get up there, unfortunately. Which is strange because sometimes some of the two slot moves take shorter time than Kiraja. And I thought a cutscene was going to happen right away here, so I thought I was going to get cut off. But it's happening right now. Alas, and so passeth a worthy opponent to think that his would be such an inglorious end. Uh. <laughs> At last that scurvy brat will never trouble me again. I wouldn't be so sure of that, Hook. Swoggle me eyes. No. Don't tell me! Oh, Jim! Blast that Peter Pan! Oh, is that salt? No! Not again! Stay away from me! I don't think so. I love this fight. I love this fight, because we get to fight Captain Hook again. He was actually one of my favorite boss battles in, uh... Oopsie. Well, I guess the tune in the water doesn't affect Ventus. He was actually one of the... He was actually my favorite boss to fight in Kingdom Hearts 1. So yeah, and if we could get... If we could knock him into the water, that would be fun. I actually had a lot of trouble with him my first time fighting him on the original Birth by Sleep. But I think, oh my gosh, he blocked my, he blocked my wing blade attack. Alright, well, how about this? Uh, if you face him, I think you need like fire abilities to actually get him into the they actually get him into the water you can I uh, or okay. or you do that that's actually hilarious it, it's kind of like an homage to when you even though I don't want to say homage because technically I just love it when he's in the water because you know, remember when you knocked him off the ship in Kingdom Hearts 1, he's like, you won't get me other hand. Oh, it's so hilarious. I love Captain Hook's fight. So funny. It was so great. Such a good fight. It's a pirate! 
large treasure chest. Treasure. Yep, the same chest I told you about. We snatched it right from Hook's hiding place. Huh? How come it's empty? Oh, uh, sorry, but we lost it, all the treasures. Oh, well, that's too bad. Aw, uh, who needs it? It was probably just full of dumb old jewels or doubloons or something anyways. We could just put what we treasure in there instead, if you wanna. Yeah, that's perfect. Instead of filling it up with jewels and gold and stuff, we'll put in what's truly special to us, the real riches. What are you putting in, Ben? I don't know. Hmm. How about this? Hmm, what is it? It's just something that one of my best friends gave me. So it's like a keepsake, huh? You sure you want to part with something that's special? Yep. I don't need it if I've got Terra and Aqua. Our best memories are still ahead. All right, then. Next time you visit, we'll have an even bigger chest waiting. Enough for all those treasures and lots more. Okay, it's a deal. Wait, Tink. I'm pretty sure that belongs to a friend of mine. Do you think maybe I could hang on to it? Now, Tink! Thank you. He's gone. Look, the light. Don't worry, men. No matter where that light takes him, Ben'll always have friends waiting to meet him. <laughs> 